Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we will learn how to create a very simple cinematic title using Adobe Premiere. Anyways guys, let's jump into Premiere and get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a new project. Once you've created a new project, you then need to grab the T tool and you need to click anywhere on the screen and now you can start to write some stuff. And once you've written your first title, you then need to go to the essential graphics panel. So you can do this by going to uh, window essential graphics if you don't see it. And you can click on edit. So now you can move that around and we can do a whole range of things with it. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we're choosing the right font. So I'm using Montserrat here, bold you can choose whichever font you like. In my previous video, I used Nexa, but again, it's up to your uh, discretion. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I'm pressing on all caps to make sure that all of uh, the letters are capitals. I then am going to align it to the center, and I've done that by hitting these two buttons. I'm just gonna grab the uh, select tool, or you can press V as a shortcut on your keyboard, and I'm just going to move this up slightly so I can write something else underneath it. So, once I've done that, I, I need to write something underneath that. So again, it's going to be the same process. I'm going to grab the T tool. I'm gonna to write, uh, click anywhere on the screen, and then I'm going to write um, something else. Now, I don't want this to be bold, so I wanna change this to thin, and I want to maybe make it a little bit smaller. And again, I'm just going to align it to the center, but this time I'm going to move it down slightly. So now we've got two titles and it's looking pretty good at the moment. I just want to increase the spacing in between um, these characters. So how do I do that? I go to this section over here and now I can increase the distance between each of those letters and so then I'm just going to uh, align it back up again and I'm going to just put it above and you can do the same for the bottom text if you really want or you can just leave it so once you're happy with your text the next thing that we need to do is we need to start animating and putting our keyframes in so what we need to do is we just need to extend this a little bit just so we have a bit of space to work with. And so we've gone probably about 10 seconds. And now we are going to start the animation process. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into our effects panel and we need to search for Gaussian Blur, okay? And then we just drag it onto our layer over here. So the thing that we need to actually uh, animate is this blurriness. And so if I, if I increase the blurriness, you can see actually what happens. So all we're gonna do is uh, animate that. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to press the keyframe on. And this, so this is at, at zero. So we probably want it maybe about a quarter of the way into it. And then we are going to do the same thing again. And we're gonna put it roughly about there with a quarter to go. And then we are going to change it to 100. Actually, we'll go a little bit more to about maybe 160. And it's easier to type this stuff in. So now we've got that one. And so that's going to be right at the start. Okay. And we're just going to do another one, 160. And we'll put that right at the end. So now it kind of fades in and fades out. But you can see that the start, you know, you can even at 160 blurriness, you can still kind of see it there. So what we need to do is we need to um, worry about the opacity. All right, and so we're gonna do the same thing again and we're gonna line it up with the keyframes that we have. So all we have to do is find the opacity. All right. So now I've found the opacity, and so all we are going to be doing is lining it up with these uh, keyframes. So we're gonna start off with one at zero. So zero is going to be in line with this, and then we are going to bring it up to 100, and 100 is going to be in line with that one, 
And then we're gonna do the same thing again, zero on the last uh, keyframe. And then we are going to go with 100. So now you can see that when you play this back, it blends in and then it will slowly fade out with the actual blur. All right, so, and there you go. There's the, the fade out. If you feel that, you know, it's too long for what you're doing, you can always uh, cut that time in half. So anyways, the last thing that we can add to this is we can add a little bit of a scale. So as it um, comes in, the text actually gets bigger. So to get that scale to become a little bit bigger, what we need to do is we need to find scale firstly. So we've got it in here and we need to add two keyframes. So I'm gonna add one keyframe at about uh, 70. Okay, and I'm gonna put that at the start. And then I'm going to go to the end and make another keyframe of 100. So now you can see that the, the text is actually kind of moving forward as the blur and the opacity come in, okay? So now that looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. So the final thing we need to do now is put some video behind it. And when you put the video behind it, and you play it all together, I think it looks pretty cool as the text is coming in. So yeah, so I think it looks pretty good as it is. If you wanna increase the speed without touching anything else, what you can do is you can uh, increase the speed of that clip by pressing R. And once you've done that, you can bring it down um, a little bit and you can make it faster. And so you can play around with some of those settings. Now, once you're happy with that, the final thing that you can do is you can actually save this as a uh, template. So to save it as a template, you just need to right click on the clip and you need to go to export as motion graphic template. And then you can just save it. And once you've done this, then you can go back into your essential graphics panel and you can find it again and you can use it later on. So once I go in here into my essential graphics uh, panel and I search for my um, the clip, I can see that it's right here and I can just easily drag it along and put it onto anything else. Anyways guys, that's enough for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.